G'day uh, and welcome back again to Panther Press. With me again is uh, Nath. How are you, Nath? Uh, how's your week, week been? How's uh, Huddy going? Doing anything funny this week? Uh, yeah, he's been pretty good. It's his birthday, so Sunday was um, off to Werribee Zoo. So oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it was, it was uh, interesting. So yeah, ice cream. Sore from the yeah, game. Yeah, a little bit sore, but it wasn't too bad. Got in the... Uh, the big truck and drove around and saw the wild <laughs> animals and had ice cream when we first walked in. So Ben and Jerry's, like, um, oh, nice. first thing you walk in, he saw it and just went, ice cream. So, <laughs> good start. Oh, that's good, mate. Yeah. Well, let's uh, get into the cricket, eh? Um, just obviously the ones and twos playing last week. Um, and, yeah, a couple of wins for the boys. Yeah, it wasn't bad. The results, um, you know, Two wins, but no president shout. The technicality, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. Yeah. Um, starting off, we got uh, the ones. Uh, what seven for two seventeen? Good start. Probably yeah. our best start. Instead of being three for three, we were none for one hundred and one. So, mm -hmm. um, Smiley and Hicksy got us off to a yeah, it was good to watch. A really good good start. So um, then finishing with two seventeen. Um, you know, Mori. Um, carried us through with the bat there. He got 44 not out. Yep. So um, probably pretty crucial in a way to... to it was. It was pretty scratchy. Yeah. <laughs> pretty scratchy too, except for that uh, 60 hit into the... Uh, yeah, that was a Nearly into the tennis courts. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. That was a good and one. Sadzi just um, got in there and got 25 or 15. Yeah, that was pretty crucial was as well. good hitting as well. So, um, And then the pick of the bowlers was Marlow. Um, picked up two crucial wickets. Um, in that middle middle area, so um, really changed the changed the course. I would say, and he got three for twenty nine, and Zaki well, getting well. two for forty six as just, well. Yeah, just going back to Marlow there. I think he sort of changed the game a little bit there when we were bowling. Yeah. When uh, they were going all right at the start, I think they were slapping us around a bit. They were none down there, and yeah, I can't really remember that. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on to your bowling later, but uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good start, I think. But, uh, yeah, we needed a little bit of something there in the field, and Marlo, I think he said a little comment to the to the batsman, and he's um, arced up at him, and he said, uh, "What? Who are you, mate? <laughs> who are you?" <laughs> he's uh, some some uh, local hack playing for Belgrave's asked a bloke who's uh, captain for Ran Ran for six years uh, in Premier cricket. Who are you? Yeah. Um, and then he lost the plot and went out about what an over later. So that was probably the first uh, yeah, yeah, yeah start yeah. of it. Uh, probably that and the fact that. I wasn't bowling to him anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, and they thought it's bad. Maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. not hitting them well. <laughs> yeah, so a bit of good tactics there from Hicksy. So. <laughs> That <laughs> uh, was a good win, but a uh, good win against Belgrave, who's uh, yeah, definitely one of the better teams in the in the comp. So, um, yeah, good to get, get one over them early in the season. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then moving down into the seconds again, um, another good win from them. Uh, what do you call it? Belgrave, Bollocks of it batted first. Um, 218, um, and then we've come in and chased that down. So, Geordie Kerr again, too far, 55 off eight. Kine and Arundel, geez, stats are really good here. He's two for 25 off six at Belgrave. Mm, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Definitely. Shano, two for 29 off seven. And then Cooper, Captain Coop, has gone in and hit 87 not out. So Yeah, it's a good innings, isn't it? And Geordie, again, has dropped in with another 15 not out. So <laughs> I he's wonder if he'll wear the box this week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. So. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Fife had 2-21. So yeah, it's not bad. It's a good win. Good. Yeah. So were they undefeated, top 11 now? Yeah, I don't think, don't think they've lost yeah. there. So it's a good start by the twos. and. Uh, good to see your team's pretty strong this year, so yeah. hopefully you get it some, um, yeah, a lot of president shouts if we can. <laughs> Correct me if we're wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a um, relegation and promotion in the second 11 competitions as well. So if they win, I'm pretty sure they'd go up to Norm Reeves um, second. Good three. Yeah. I'll Could be wrong, but I think that's correct. I've got no so. idea. I'm just looking at your story. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's so, good. That's yeah. good. Now, we've, uh, we've been talking about at the start of the year, I think, the um, junior player of the week that we're going to do, and we just sort of haven't really got around to it. Um, but speaking with Freddie tonight, and he's um, promised us that we're going to have a – how do you say it, Nath? The, the, the new uh, burger shop is yeah. going to be the sponsor. 
was it Y O M G? Yes, uh, they're good burgers. They're good burgers, uh, and Freddie had said the day they're going to be the sponsor for the Junior Player of the Week, and uh, yeah, we'll select one each week and get a voucher for uh, yeah, a nice little burger. So that'll start next week. So, well, any juniors if you're watching, uh, yeah, make sure you get a good night's sleep and uh, make some runs, take some wickets, and you get uh, a bit of a voucher there. So Fantastic. that'll be coming up. Um, player sponsors, I think you want to mention something about that, Nate? Yeah, just once again from the committee side of things, um, get out there, get yourself a player sponsor. Um, next next week we'll probably have a, pretty, a list of exactly who's, who's got who and um, who's sponsoring who um, and stuff like that. So especially when you get, do something well, um, then you can um, help out your sponsor. Yeah, so. sounds good. Sounds good. Now, um, <laughs> we've got a uh, another new segment here. Um, don't know how it's going to go, but uh, <laughs> it's going to go, go well. Man. It's pretty funny, but um, a lot of the people here would know one of the legends of the club. He's a bit of a larrikin, uh, been here for a long time. He, he popped his head in the other week, but... Um, Segment's called Pimmy's Excuses. Um, <laughs> now, he's had some of the funniest excuses for missing games of cricket that you'll ever hear. Uh, I'm going to run through a couple of them here. And uh, also, we're going to try and make this like a regular segment. So if you've got any any funny stories that folks have had uh, terrible excuses, um, it could be footy, it could be just terrible excuses for anything. Missing, could be work, yeah, could be anything. Missing yep. something. So um, just send a... Uh, private message to either myself or Nate um, on Facebook, and we can uh, yeah we'll read them out each week and see if we can get some funny stories going. Uh, but we'll jump into it. Um, I remember this back in the day we were playing with Norm Reeves, wasn't it against Mombo? Yeah, against Mombo, yep. Um, the second day of one a two day. <laughs> <laughs> second day, one day, and um, yeah, we're missing. Uh, there's missing one player from. From the game, you know, the game started and not there for the warm up, not there for the start of the game, and everyone's trying to find out where Pim is. And I don't know what stage he sort of let anyone know if it was till after the game. I can't remember. Can remember no, that? it must have been when Daisy's dropped off the five, <laughs> the five kilos of um, mulch. Sure. <laughs> but his but. excuse was that he couldn't play the second day, he didn't tell anyone because he had to help his mum in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of, 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 of mulch. Yeah, it's had to mulch living and just, you know, <laughs> had, to, had to get it in, get the barrow going, and, uh, yeah, you couldn't play the second day, so. Incredible. <laughs> that was the, garden, the garden looked the same, though, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of his, I remember um, he was working for the same company I was working for years and years ago, and he used to have a few days off, the old pin dog, but yeah. uh, one of the excuses was uh, he couldn't come in because his missus fell off a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, that was a good one. Had a bit of a giggle about that. He's also had about eight grandmas die in about six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that was, nah, yeah, that well, was the, no good. The, the UK, so we both played at the same club yep. over in the UK, Alfington. And uh, as they do, they find you a um, they find you some work when you're over there. So we both worked at the same, same place. And he goes to me, the guy I'm working with, he goes, oh, gee, you rock up. I'm like, oh, yeah. And he's like... Well, the other fella you had here last year, he um he had a few days off. I was like, oh, and he goes, yeah, tell me you had a bad beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of oh, that was pretty funny. But by the look at Pimmy, yeah. when he came back from England, he, um, <laughs> yeah. he looked like he had about three million beers. <laughs> it, was like a, it was huge. Um, <laughs> he put on about yeah. 40 kilos when he came Incredible. back. Incredible. It's but, a big uh, breakfast. <laughs> it was funny. Um yeah, there's a couple other things here. I don't know if we'll get into those ones yet. We'll save that for another save week. For another day. Yep. Um, another thing that I just got here, um, a lot of the people here would know uh, young Sean Woodward. Yes. Um, you know, he's been around the club for a long time and he ended up leaving. He's coached up a gully for a while and he's been down there. He, um, so I've been speaking to him a little bit over the uh, past year and he's talking about coming back down to Uden to play. Um, and then he said he wasn't going to play and he couldn't be bothered and whatever. And got a message from him a couple of days ago, just let me know that he's decided he's going to play this week for Upper Gully. Yeah. Well, I think he said yeah. he sent a few messages out. I think Hicksy got one. I think Sudsy got one. I think he's just sending messages to everyone from Yildon to let him know that he's uh, going to play it Upper Gully. Yeah. Um, I think he's probably playing their ones. That's how they're going. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like, like Woody, no, like, no one cares. I don't know why you're telling us you're playing there. We actually found... <laughs> <laughs> Found your hat, he's mate. He's up, up a gully hat. So, um, yeah, here's your hat, mate. If you want that one, that's over there. Um, <laughs> in that bin over there. So, um, yeah, but yeah, Woody, no one cares. 
go play it up a gully. You'll be in our fish. So, um, <laughs> yeah, see you later, mate. <laughs> no, you're welcome back for a beer anytime, Woody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you're shouting, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no worries. Well, let's uh, start well, the fines then. Yeah, Does we'll, he get fined? Are you fining him two bucks? Uh, he's getting, if he ever comes down here again, he's yep. getting 10 bucks fine. 10 yeah. bucks fine? Yeah, that's fine. Well, we might uh, read these teams out first. We'll okay. break this up a little bit here. We'll read these. I'll, I'll read the teams out. Yeah, you read them. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we're playing this first 11, playing St. John's at uh, Tulaskia on that little small ground there, Nate. So uh, <laughs> make sure you get your line length right. Yeah, right uh, <laughs> Mark Hardy gave me a good of, good hiding last time I was there. He hit me into that playground up the top, So yep. which is six on any ground. So Yeah, that's it. So we've got St. John's away. First 11 is uh, Hixie, Smiley, Codes, uh, Nose, myself, Tuna's in this week. Was he in last week? No. Uh, Sudsy, Cam Costick, Zach Corcoran, Bulls back in and Thorsten are in. So that's uh, yeah, St. John's away for the first 11. Um, and, yeah, obviously the noble out there is Marlowe. Uh, what is he in Disneyland or something, is he? Uh, he's, yeah, Disney Cruise. Disney Cruise, yeah, right. Yep, there you go. With Mickey Mouse and that. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> uh, it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the seconds, we've got uh, Morgan Arundel, Geordie Plant, uh, Lockie Tibbs, Cooper Denny, Lockie Bolts, Brad Garbett, Zach Clark, Geordie Keir, Harry Bolts, Kyle Arundel, and Shane Bitchko, and they're playing uh, at home here on the front oval. Make sure uh, they get Frog Box up and going. Yeah, yeah, they should should be right. Um, the thirds we've got uh, oh, Jamie Farrell. We don't know where he's been. He's back. Uh, Bali. Uh, Benny Bali. Yeah. Um, Nathan Bolden, Paddy Gill, Cooper Fisher, Luke Epps, Adrian Bolts. Training tonight. I so thought he was out there just bowling bumpers at the kids. That was um, good. <laughs> um, Patrick Blanche, Donga, uh, Braden Rump, Tyler Rump, Tommy May, and Niall May. My May, whatever, something like that. Yep. Um, and they're playing scalps uh, at their ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the force. Uh, How would you <laughs> they haven't written the ground on there, but anyway, we'll, uh, the force are playing uh, Knoxfield at Benedict. Oh, so the thirds are at home then. So the thirds are uh, at home apparently. So, yep. We'll say, we'll go with that. So, <laughs> the force playing Knoxfield away at Benedict. Park there, so we've got uh, Colin Scott, Josh Wilkins, Chris Salen, Freddie Femia, The Gun, uh, Tyler Hunt, oh, Xavier Porter, Potter, Jaden Ribeiro, Owen something, Josh Kilner, Josh Beamsley, Steve Potter. At the fifth, uh, Mark Alexander, Hayden Whiting, Hamish Wood, Ada Johnston, Luke McMillan, Kane Alexander, Chris Campbell, Cam Hamilton, Jensen, Fenner, Sam Fry, and Will Badger. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the fish playing, mate? <laughs> so, just an internal joke. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Linda at Stud Park. So, uh, yeah. yeah, how do we get down, <laughs> get down for that one? It'll be a cracker. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, Let's uh, move on. Move, we'll move on. <laughs> Into the fights. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Into the fights. Now, I've got one um, from last Saturday. Um, now, one of the junior dads walked in uh, with his son. They actually brought his own bowling machine down here to go set up in the nets. I thought that's pretty good. And yeah. the young kid had all his kit. And nice, nice setup. Yeah, good setup. Had the ball machine set up. So he had the kid, all his gear, had his pads on. He went in the ball machine for about five minutes. And um, the big fella, Mark Alexander, thought he'd put the pads on as well. <laughs> so Mark, he's uh, got his full, full kit on, walked over to the ball machine with the dad and said, oh, kid, get out of the net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Mark, he sat in the ball machine, kicked the kid out. Yep. Um, the kid was over in the corner on his um, phone, just looked, playing little games and whatever. <laughs> Mark, he sat in the ball machine, got the dad to uh, oh, feed balls for about an hour and a half. We were watching. Um, I'd already hit about one out of about 50 of them, Marky. He's practicing his leave, well. leaving him. So. <laughs> um, I do believe he said after the game, he said just uh, working on my offside play. So yep. uh, that was good. But Marky, that's two bucks. It didn't help pack up either. It didn't help. He sat down. Straight back into the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it should be two bucks and then two bucks for not packing up. So four bucks, Marky. Um, and obviously you've got Marley had a drop catch. He bowled well, but he dropped a catch, so two bucks. He did. Um, and then this is Alexander's family's uh, having a good one tonight. So Kane Alexander, um, 
recently started working at Greg Chapel, um, yeah. cricket shop, and he's uh, rocked up tonight in a full Aussie kit. <laughs> yeah. Full Aussie kit. Um, so yeah, that's new gear, new bat, new, new bat. Everything, not a cherry on it. It's one of the heaviest bats I've ever yeah. picked up. <laughs> I know. You did club a couple out there. I did see that. Yeah, so. That's good. Uh, but yeah, full kit, two bucks. Uh, not allowed to. Yeah, that, skip, yeah, skip. That's, uh, yeah, that guy's Spray skip. <laughs> he's left. The, he's a, he's no. not at the club anymore. Okay. Um, now they've got one here. Now the first ball on the weekend. Uh, your first ball, Nate. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I can talk you through it. Oh, I was there, but you're talking, yeah, talking, nah, talking, talking all the uh, people yeah. through. So I stood at the end of my mark, uh, I ran in, and I bowled a full toss straight <laughs> at his head. I got hit for four. The beam ball. And everyone goes, oh, sunscreen. It's a fair, <laughs> it's a fair call, being a redhead. You know, I probably got a lot of sunscreen yeah. on my hands. There's no excuse. <laughs> Literally just released it at his head.